All right, welcome back, everybody. This is Jonathan Gardner playing Factorio. <laughs> what a cliffhanger, right? <laughs> Am I right or what? Holy cow. Let's get on my jet airplane. Let's go ahead and fuel it up. Uh, I think that's enough. We're going to go and... First of all, we're going to fix this train. And second of all, I'm going to show you some things that I've been playing with. So I need... I don't make repair kits normally. I'll grab a couple of these. You can have those back. I need to get my circuit production, it's my module production going, at least for a little bit. I need so many things. I want to get uh, green circuits. Oh, you know what I could have done? Whoa! I'm going backwards. I could have just sat here. All right, let's make some repair kits. 66, that sounds good. 34. All right, now I have too many circuits. Here, have my circuits, please. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, that was... It's one of those things where when you see it, you're like, eh, I don't want to do that anymore. I need to calm down. Yeah. Okay, I don't like all these extra things in this curve. I need to figure this out properly. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back very carefully there we go okay and then I'm gonna go down and back up I don't know how many trains I have anymore anyway I had actually a thought about the nuclear reactor of lining up the trains in a different way and I Last time I was playing last night, I didn't record any of it, but I was playing last night with the infinity chests and uh, some experimentation there. And I discovered that I just need 500 fact, uh, 500 science labs to keep 10,000 science busy. And I can show you the math behind that, but uh, I'm almost there. And I, I also thought using infinity chests, I can basically do everything backwards, you know, um, but infinity chests are kind of a cheat. But I don't know, building a factory backwards and using infinity tests to test it. Um, like I could go over here, I can plug in a train, do an infinity chest to keep the train loaded and just see how it throughputs and just, it's not really cheating. It is kind of cheating. I should just get some more and try it, you know. I, I probably shouldn't cheat much more. I mean, I'm cheating with power right now, so yeah. Yeah, that's kind of a big cheat. But the honest truth is, like, the power game in Factorio, when you get to a certain point, it's kind of ridiculous. Either you build, like, a million solar panels, like I should, or you do a huge uh, nuclear rays, but then you have to move all that liquid and all that steam and everything. I think that's actually it. That's all of it, isn't it? Yeah. I also need to get in the habit of not using my RoboPort, my personal RoboPort, to build stuff. Anyway, um, I need a plane. Where's my plane? Where'd I put it? Oh, it's over there. Let's go back and get it. I should carry two planes. I have this one, but it's slower than I am. Do I have my fast? Yeah, I have my fast stuff in. Anyway, oh, I just need some productivity mods. Okay. Yeah, I need to get in the habit of building with RoboPorts rather than with my personal RoboPort pack. In fact, I should probably just turn that off. Um... Because everything I'm going to build from now on is large scale. And I was experimenting building stuff, and it just took a long time to build. Whereas if I had been using RoboPorts properly, it would have been done rather quickly. So that's what I need to get in the habit of. Okay, so here is my, my plane. Okay, let's go check out my nuclear factory. Let's go down there, and I'm going to do some thinking. That's what I like to do is thinking. Thinking is always fun to do. All right. All right. So, currently my thoughts are this. So if I have a train, a really long train, okay? Okay. And this train has, you know, I don't know, has like wagons. Okay, I'm just going to put the wagons down just to kind of measure things out, right? 
Uh -huh. Sure, like that. Okay, then we have these pumps. I don't have any of those pumps, do I? I want some. I'm just going to tear this apart. Okay. I thought I tore that up. Where did they go? Huh? Oh, there's one. I have one finally. It was my auto builder. I should probably turn that off too. All right, so what we do is we take these pumps and we have one pump on each of these wagons. And Basically, the idea is, and we're going to have just a, a tank to kind of, you know what, maybe, maybe a couple more than one tanks. Maybe what I do is I pump into a tank. And the other side, like that. That's fine. I'm just want to just kind of sketch things out here. I need just I just need some room to That's probably that's probably going to work, I think. So we we pump uh, maybe out and in. So well, into the system and out of the system. And then we have little underground pipe there that we can connect everything up to. I don't need more underground pipes. Um, I did shut this train down, right? I'm, I'm worried that it'll try to kill me. Okay, so the idea is that... Actually, does this line up perfectly or what? Oh my gosh, it almost lines up perfectly. What if I moved? Uh, a small problem here. Yeah, I just need to move it over one. The alternative, I think, is so I can have it come out here or here or here, right? Now, the, the heat exchanger... Well, hold on, hold on. This isn't quite true, is it? Because I could have the heat exchanger come out here. Or uh, alternatively, I could have it go in here. Um, heat exchanger. This looks like a doable thing. And then what we do is, is we just get another pump here, pumping it down. Now, if this is a pattern that we can produce every six squares, so seven squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is not a pattern that repeats every seven. What can I do about this now? What if what if I did it a little wider? What if I did it a little closer? What if I put tanks in every other space?
Or, or you know what I can do, actually? I could have the tanks at the end of the line. So I take the tracks. It needs at least four in between. So then we basically... So we unload and load. They have to be spaced out like this. Okay, copy that. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, shoot, we need to go zoom out a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go ahead and turn the robots on. I think this could work. I think actually, you know what I need to do is, um, I need to get pumps to pump it down. Yeah, we need to get pumps to pump it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that could work. I think that could absolutely work. And the next train can come in like this close, right? So I just have to offset them like this. I think I might build this nuclear plant anyway. And then we can have super long trains as long as we want them. The issue the issue that becomes now Actually, we need to rotate these guys pointing up. Well, obviously we need to put some power poles or something in there. That's not an issue at all. It's rather simple to do that trivial. Indeed. Yeah. I like this a lot because now instead of one wagon feeding an entire row of things, we're actually going to feed um, yeah, I don't know how long these trains need to be if <sighs> see the spacing the, the so. Two, four, six, eight, ten. The spacing is ten apart. This was seven, so these guys need to be a little bit closer together. So we can do two per one. Like we could have, um, just you know, just sketching it out. We could have the water come in, feed these two guys, and then have the steam come out and then combine into the steam out and then I need to do some math is what I need to do yeah okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit on this idea for now I'm gonna this is something I'm gonna let's do I'm not gonna waste time on this I'm gonna go over and do something else as well and I might do some off-camera work to get things working okay the next thing that I wanted to play with is I have a underground belt shortage here. I wanted to make iron. So I wanted to bring some iron in and that's what I was doing with the train until I destroyed it. And um, what I need to do actually, let's get the tracks laid down so that at least this guy can come in. Um, we are going to lay down, I don't know how many tracks, but we can't, we gotta have these guys line up right behind each other. 
I think I calculated something like two minutes for one of these trains to completely empty. And um, there is something that I was thinking about. I'm going to just do a quick sketch of it to see if it was a, if it's even a possibility. Um, so I have some beacons. I'm going to need some furnaces or something three by three. Let's go grab some furnaces. They're right here. Let's just grab one stack or whatever, 45 of them. Okay. So the idea that I had, and I was thinking about like how to do gears and stuff like that. And, um, so the idea is basically what I do is I do like the offset like this. Then I have my little furnaces, right? And they need to be two away. Right? And we're going to go and copy these guys. And put them up here. One, two. Okay. So the idea is that we have... Oh, I need someone to grab belts, don't I? They're just over here. Everything seems so so big. I seem so small now. I zoom out so far. I wonder if, like, over time, if the zoom out's gotten further. I don't know. This is going to take all those. Do I have some inserters? I have some stack inserters. I want some fast inserters to play with. I do need some stack inserters too, though. Well, that's 102. That's pretty good. Okay. And okay, so the idea. The idea that I'm thinking is we take six. Okay. Now, okay, would you guys stop blinking? That's just annoying. Now, let's get some big power pole. I don't have any big power poles, so well. Okay, let's get you over here as well. All right, so what's the idea? So the idea was I'm thinking of um, like how much would it take to get a full belt? 45 per second, right? Okay. A 45 per second output because input is going to be less because we have the productivity mods in there, right? So let's do some math here. So we need to get... Uh, 45 per second. We're going to divide that by the crafting speed. We're going to multiply that by 3.2, which is the time it takes to do one plate. Okay, and then we're going to divide by 1.2 for productivity. And that says it'll take 16 to make one full belt. Okay, so the idea, the idea that I have so I basically take this. And I just duplicate this 16 times. And that'll make one full belt. And then I do 16 more times, and then I'll take the other full belt. And in the end, I'll have two full belts for each one of these factory rows coming out. Now, 16 of those guys, right? So 16 times, what's the productivity speed? Speed is 7.4. And we're divided by 3.2, I think is the crafting time. So we need 37, 37 plates coming in at a time, right? So I think the stack inserters will do something. Now the question is now, like how do I, so, Okay, so we have two coming out like that, right? Now, if I just lined up stack inserters straight up and down like this, right? Because I want to unload full belts. So I could also go on the other side. I don't want to get rid of that. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, so we can unload to the other side like this. Okay, now how do we turn this into a full belt? And we only have seven squares to do it in, right? So I can't put anything over here. Well, I only have one of those, don't I? Let's just go ahead and mark it off. And I can't put anything over here, right? So I only have this much space to work in. Okay, one of the thoughts I had was we go like this and like that. Or if it's if that's not the right way, because the other guy's gonna insert the other side, right? And same kind of thing. 
Okay, let's get some power here. Let's see which way it is. Do I have a wagon? Down here I should have one, right? Thirty-two, sixty-four per second. Thirty-seven times two, times four actually. Is doing one hundred forty-eight per second. Two thousand divided by one forty-eight. That's like thirteen and a half seconds that the train's going to stay there. If we're unloading this quickly, it's not going to last very long. That's going to be a monster furnace array, though. The thing that I need to always balance is the trains, how often they move and everything like that. Anyway, I have this wagon here. I'm going to put this right here. Let's go ahead and put some items in there. Okay. So. Wow, they just aren't inserting to the same. That's just not doing what I expect. Well, what if I did... hoping to get four belts out of this but let's see what we can do to get all the belts out of it Okay, so I have six times two is 12. Four would require three of them working together to make one full belt. That's just not gonna happen. It requires three to a side to make a full belt with these guys, if I recall correctly. Let's see which way he puts it. He puts it on the right side. What about this way? Puts it on the left side. That's really the best I can do is convert one full belt of, uh, have a row, one for each full belt, and then it'll convert to like one and a part of plates. Let's see how fast this. Let's see if these third ones actually do anything. Does this guy actually do anything? Yeah, he does. Yeah, they're all necessary to keep a full belt. I don't need a full belt though. Partial belts are okay. Well, if that's the case, then how do I do this? I 
I think they actually insert to both sides, which is really unfortunate. It kind of makes the game a little weird. Let's go ahead and put these tracks in. That'll probably give the most. Yeah. So maybe what I do, since we're taking four to make a full belt. And it's not it's not entirely a full belt. It's it's a partial belt. You'll see here. Let me just make it more clear. Uh, where'd my rails go? There we go. Okay, so watch this. See, there's gaps in it. But I don't think the gaps are that significant. Right. Okay, so that's... I can get three belts out of this. And I'll probably copy this because it's a good pattern. And, oh no, I want to make a blueprint. Blue. A new blueprint. Actually, before we do that... Um, blueprint, please. We're going to get rid of the rails. Actually, let's put the rails back here. So this is rails, and then green inserters, and then blue belts. We're going to call this, um, unloader. And it's unloading to the right. Okay, let's go to the blueprint library. There it is, unload or write. Okay, and let's reverse the direction. Okay, blueprint. We're gonna get rid of the rails. It's gonna be called unloader left. I should use the underground belt symbol for it, shouldn't I? That, that's that's fine. I think I think I like that symbol better. Okay, we go to the blueprint book. Let's open that up. Unload or right. Let's go ahead and edit this. Main inventory. Unload or right. Huh, that's interesting. Where did my blueprints go? That's fine, actually. We want the underground belt. Okay. Let's get rid of that one. Unload or left, unload or right. I wonder if I can. <sighs> okay, I'm I'm happy with this now. You know, my thought is that. We can do more work at a station and the trains 
as long as they stay out of each other's way, it's probably okay, right? Um, another thought I had was maybe what I should do <clears throat> is just go to belts. I think the belts are not very CPU intensive anymore or UPS intensive, whatever you want to call it. That's a thought I had. Okay, so what I really want to do is I think I want to turn this thing on. I think having the trains take as long as they do is just fine. And I think I don't want to touch this. I want to get the uh, the iron flowing. So let's go ahead and just play around with the, you know, we, we have the resources. We, we can do it. Now the thing is, is I need, I don't have my Farrell train anymore. I need a Farrell. I should use Caesar Farrell model. I really should. It's, it's just it's so cheap. It's like ridiculously cheap. I want to work more on in the intersections too, and I can't lay track quite as far as I'd like to. What what am I looking for? Far all module. That's uh, steel, iron gear, and electronic circuits. This is the factory. Yeah. Well, I know where steel is. Steel, iron gear, electronic circuits. I, I know I have gears somewhere. They're down here. That's right. All right, file module. There. We have a file module now. Okay, so... Uh, let's put this back. Farrell module. All right. Settings, it says 350. We're gonna spread this out a little bit. We're just gonna go quite a ways out there. So we run out of stuff and we'll, when we go back we'll be back to my uh oh shoot i don't have any landfill on me See if I could fuse Farl. Don't put signals down. I'll put the signals down myself. Really? Yeah. Come downstairs and look. Okay, okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye-bye. <laughs>